Thanks, everyone. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Stephanie and the Chamber, and of course, um, the city of Ventura, who hosts our uh, Ventura events every single month and helps us out a lot. Ventura is one of the places where it was really exciting a few years ago when the startup community started happening, and we decided to uh, start doing events. And the city of Ventura, and I know it was a, a slightly different crew back then, was very instrumental in us even starting 805 Startups and making it something more than an excuse for me to work from home. So why startups and why, why is this important? We're here talking economic development and, and Bruce is bringing, up, um, is bringing up what's important to the region and a big obvious scare for startups and technology is the automation and AI and all this stuff, right? Well, all of these startup companies and small businesses in general are the only sector in the economy that are creating net new jobs. There are certain big companies that are doing well, and you know some of them are not doing layoffs and some of them are doing great, but as a sector, startups and small businesses are the only ones actually creating jobs. So everyone looks at them as the people who are killing jobs, they're the only ones creating jobs. And you look at companies raising money and you look at companies like the Trade Desk where a few years ago they're raising millions of dollars. Every $93,000 invested in a tech startup creates one high paid, high skilled job, but on average they create five service sector jobs. So that's very, very significant. Now why startups in the 805? Well, we hear about Los Angeles growing and growing and growing and Silicon Beach as this exciting place where we're bringing billions of dollars in investment capital to a bunch of startups. Well, when you meet the investors in Los Angeles, a significant portion of them are focusing up here. And the reason is LA is really noisy and they've actually had a disproportionate number of exits and, uh, and opportunities in this area. So you see people like Rincon, they're based in Santa Barbara. They're investing Santa Barbara money around the world, but they also are investing in local companies on a regular basis. Wavemaker is one of the most active investors in Los Angeles, if not the most active investor. They were in the seed round. They made a very small investment comparatively to their other investments in MindBody, and they got a 65x return on their investment. Now they want to spend more time up here. And then, of course, everybody's heard of the trade desk and, and what they're doing. What people might not know is that when a company gets a large exit like that, and they, uh, they're now worth over $2 billion, I think, um, they're creating many, many, many millionaires within the techies that are working there. And those aren't millionaires who, uh, who moved out here after they made money and are retiring out here or retiring up in Santa Barbara or spending time at the beach. These are young people who are technologists. And I saw this uh, about 10 years ago when I was working in Los Angeles. MySpace sells for $300 million. And the day the restrictions are off on their stock options, uh, there's 100 new millionaires in town. Every single one of them are starting new companies or investing in their friends' companies. And those restrictions on the trade desk stock uh, are, are I think either lifting or just were lifted. So what you're gonna see in the next few years is another trade desk or another couple big, big exits in this area if we keep those companies and those young, I wanted to say kids, but if you keep those, those, those young techies here and not all of them are young, we will actually see a lot more of that. Now, I wanted to use 805 Startups as an example to what is going on here. We started a few years ago, and we have now almost 2,000 members of the group. These are people that are mostly in this area, but we actually bring members from all over the place. So if you see, it took a long time. For, for years, we hovered around a few hundred members, and then all of a sudden, boom, inflection point happens, and we grow big. And it's because of all of this hype and these opportunities that are happening, but it's not all hype. It's millions or billions of dollars that are being exchanged in this sector and jobs being created. I mean, there's multiple companies that were three-person companies based out of our office in Westlake Village just a year or two ago and collectively have hundreds of employees now. It, this is a sector where there's a lot of churn and lots of companies going out of business, but when one hits, the whole point of a startup is to grow. 
And that's the whole reason why they raise that kind of money and why you look at companies like Twitter and they don't really make sense to most of us. And that one is a bad example because it doesn't make sense. But um, it, you, know, you see these companies are like, why did, they, why did Uber raise a hundred uh, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars, or why did Airbnb raise hundreds of millions of dollars? Airbnb is one of the largest, most valued real estate companies in the world, and they don't own any real estate. It's, it's crazy how innovative and, and how fast these companies can grow. So I wanted to showcase uh, Ventura, obviously, and 10% of our members, so we have about 200 members that are actually live in the city of Ventura as part of 805 Startups. Those are all people starting companies. About a quarter of our members are female and that's growing. And this is, it's hard to read, but what this basically shows is that about 500 of our members live in the Caneo Valley area because most of our events used to be in that area, but we've expanded to do more events in Ventura and Santa Barbara. About a quarter of the group is in the rest of the 805 region, 200 or so being in Ventura. And then those other sections are actually the San Fernando Valley, Los Angeles, and everywhere else. So people are actually coming from the outside and coming to us because the events that we put on and the startups in this area and the investors we have in this area are actually driving people to come to us, which is really, really exciting. As part of the group, we basically pulled out all of the people who are part of larger corporations and didn't include them in this number. There are 589 startup companies in the group, which collectively have almost 1,500 employees. So collectively, we actually beat out most of the large employers in, in the area in terms of numbers. Those 1,450 people are going to be, uh, so we asked for estimates from them, and we know that they're all inflated, so we took the lowest average of the estimates and surmised that that group of companies is going to be creating 1,700 new jobs over the next 12 months. Now. They're collectively raising or trying to raise, uh, the keyword is trying to raise, $96 million right now. What will probably happen is about half of that will be raised by those companies. But that's still extremely significant when you think about the job growth and you think about the money coming into our economy. So it's really important to us to work with the chambers and the cities and all of you to make sure that these companies stay here. Our group has about 93 what we call active investors that have made an investment in a small company in the last five years. And we took out the anomalies, like we have a Pritzker group member as part of the group. They have $6 billion, and I didn't want to use that to inflate our numbers and make us look, look uh, you know, that much better. But if you look at the funds that I displayed and the angel investors in the area, they, over the next five years, are planning on investing $750 million in startups. Not all of them will be based in Ventura County. A lot of them will be based in Los Angeles and Silicon Valley. But those people are here, and they come to our events on a regular basis, and they want to. That money represents 46,000 jobs being created. That's really, really significant. So I just wanted to throw that out there and kind of go, startups, they exist, we're here, we're in the area, everyone that doesn't know about them should know about them. We do tons of events. Every month we do an event at the city in Ventura. Every month we do an event in Santa Barbara. And every month we do a larger sort of startup job fair, investor fair event in Agora Hills as well. So go to 805startups.com and find out about when we're doing it and come hang out, spend time with us. You know, a lot of times what we do is we sit with some of the larger corporations, some of the other groups in town, and we basically point at the right people in, within our group who could help them. A lot of small businesses, one quick example, even though it's supposed to be done, was a small jewelry, uh, small jewelry shop in Westlake Village got one of their kids, um, came out of school, decided that they were going to now run the shop. They spent some time with us. One of our members joined their team help them build their e-commerce website, help them do all their Facebook advertisements, and within two months were making more money off of their website than they ever made in the store, and literally brought them from no website to a six-figure a month revenue uh, from their website. And that was just one way one small business benefited from coming to our event. So it's not just about the larger companies, not just about the startups. And come join us on July 26th. We're going to do a Shark Tank style demo day. It's our biggest event we do every year. We bring some you know, billionaire investors to sit there and hear the pitches. And this year, we'll probably have about 400 people in attendance. It'll be a lot of fun. Thank you.